Welcome back, fellas. Um, we have some interesting news today about, uh, I guess, everything. So many things. So many things. Um, I'm pretty sure I haven't mentioned it in the other videos I've been filming recently. I'm pretty sure I haven't. And if I have, then I'll just, I just, I'll just cut that part out. We're here with Mark's car. Um, yeah. You might be wondering what's happening. That's John. We'll explain what's happening, or explain what happened. Uh, I'll give you like a couple seconds to guess, but you'll probably be able to guess anyway, because it's an SR, and it's just... Here's a, here's a hint. Here's a hint. It would have been nice if it landed in the sunlight, man. Let's try that again. Try that again. Hint number two. Oh. Hello. And that's John in his white girl P Planet car. <laughs> Even he calls it that, man. Sitting at about 110, and um, pop goes the SR. Bang! <laughs> Did it spit oil up under the windshield at all? There was no oil. It spit out. There was just smoke. So smoke flew out of the bonnet, and oil just like exploded out the bottom. Yeah, because I don't think <laughs> the hole is just—it's not really up. <laughs> no. Just threw a rod. Just threw a rod. And there's not a small hole. But yeah, that's that's the um that's the hole. Hey dude. So how's it doing John? John John's that, that P plater that has one of those turbo approved P plater cars. And it just sh shits on everyone else in terms of power. <laughs> also because he definitely illegally modded it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stage two what? <laughs> so Rocker arm, shout its pants. Two of them, so these two here. This one's still lodged in there. Did they snap or did they just... Oh no, that's in pieces. That's definitely in pieces. Wait, no. They might have just completely unseated. Mm. This one unseated. Flew around a bit. This one definitely unseated. No, it looks like it's in one piece. I'd be surprised if it broke, but yeah, it looks like it's in one piece and it sort of just like stopped everything spinning. It just didn't want to... Yeah. Nice, man. Nice. Well, this is... Everyone else has been working on their engine swaps on the channel, so now it's... Engine swap now it's, a, now it's a Sylvia's turn to do an engine swap. <laughs> I love how, like, every Sylvia just... Where's the anti-skid? Yeah, no, there it's isn't It's not one. there. It's just not there, man. No, we don't want to say that yet. Going, Shut up. Going. We're gonna make a SR that'll explode even harder. <laughs> 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 That's pretty much it, man. No, it won't. It will not. That's, yeah, you can tell yourself that. God. Ah, oh, in case anyone's wondering, me and Dylan know John from longboarding. Skateboard days. From back in the longboard skateboard days. When he was just a little grom. Okay. And me and Dylan were slightly bigger groms. <laughs> Alright, um, well we want to get this out, and we want to, I brought the high pressure hose. I didn't bring the container, because couldn't find it. Boot like engine hoist to the roof. <laughs> the, the <engine laughs> like cave in the whole roof. <laughs> <laughs> There's like an actual engine hose over there. Alright fellas, we're back. John's not with us, he's had to run off and do some things. We got... what do we get? Um, some heavy duty... cleaner stuff. So right now what are you working on? You're getting off the... Uh, intake, intake manifold, so I can bolt a hook onto this side. Uh -huh. Bolt a hook onto the other side. And this this thing here. Have you undone the bottom ones too? Yeah. Have you already unbolted the gearbox and engine mounts? Yep. Uh, so we're still going with this. Um, got a few hoses to remove. All of the bolts are removed, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Oh, aren't there hoses like inside there as well? I can't remember either. Anyway, we'll get these ones off and we'll start, I don't know, wriggling it until it comes off. So we're getting there. Uh, did you... Dude, take this off. Oh, there. That. This will probably just be a part one. Yeah. Get the hoist out. Um, chains are on. Yeah, I guess it's time to pull this shit out. Alright, um, what do we do? We got the engine mounts off. Yeah, the main thing now is disconnecting this. Taking off this big fat power steering hose. And then, I guess the engine should just fly on out of here. On the ground? Where, where am I looking? That's a 14. 
Oh, the teeny tiny one. It's all pro. I bet it's not even pro. Mark's currently working on taking out the prop shaft. I kind of don't want a prop shaft. Now this is happening. So the engine was like so close to being out, we figured out why it wouldn't come out. Because I'm an idiot. Mark hadn't told me he had not yet removed the shifter. So fellas, I was just checking out the hole on uh, Mark's engine. And I spotted I spotted a little bit of light coming from inside. And uh that's when I found out. There's actually another hole on the other side. A piece of engine just fell off. Yep. Dude, nice. We just removed our first SR. Hugh gave us a hand. <coughs> well, I did most of the work. He also coughed and died. He gave us a hand taking the engine into the storage shed. Yeah, Mark's engine bay looks like fucking shit. <laughs> it's terrible, man. You need to clean that floor real quick because concrete's pretty damn porous. Can we get some concrete? All right, and then we can tape off your lines and stuff before we blast crap out of it. Hey.